What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? We are back for another video. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be doing a story time today. So, y'all remember when we went to Orlando for mm -hmm. that weekend getaway? How much fun we had, right? Y'all remember? Oh. Y'all probably didn't even notice it, like, because we had so much fun. Yeah. So, it happened to me. Just it so, just happened so. to us. It was an us thing. Mm, yeah. Oh, um, so I'm I'm actually gonna be doing his hair or attempting to. You know, it's kind of hard to talk and do hair. Yeah, she can't multi time. I can't. I mean, I can, but I can't. But anyway, that's not the point. She can't walk and chew bubble gum. I can't walk and chew bubble gum. Mm -hmm. That's not what happened last night. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> how much we had drunk we were really really tipsy and i went downstairs it's at the end of the night everybody get ready for bed mm -hmm. so i went downstairs to get some water and i was talking to my friend and i guess <laughs> i was taking too long for drew so she was y'all like for real he leaves the room and he goes outside she he was talking down sorry to cut you off she was talking downstairs for an hour i had we had them took a shower together and she was downstairs talking for an hour an hour what the hell it wasn't no hour it probably just felt like an hour because he was drunk i wouldn't talk down there for that long i don't even remember what we was talking about but exactly now <laughs> anyway <laughs> he left the house i wasn't like checking for him he a grown man he can do what he want to do so we down there talking and i'm like dang it's been like 15 minutes he can't make it the house yet what he doing he ain't no smoker so like what is he doing outside Had i go prostitute. outside yeah what yeah, I, would. <laughs> <laughs> I go outside to go look for him to make sure he okay because in my mind he drunk like drunk drunk i'm tipsy he drunk drunk i'm tipsy too i go outside he not out there i walk down the little like uh the road up and down nothing i don't see no drinks i go back inside i tell my friend but we're in the neighborhood so i couldn't go that far i don't know that i don't know that Drew's missing. Y'all know how drunk people are. They get the wonder. I was okay? tipsy. I thought he was drunk. So, I go and I tell my friend, Drew missing. I don't know where he went. He gone. I'm freaking out. I'm tipsy. I'm emotional. Like, where is he? It's raining. It's dark. And um, it was hot outside, so like my car was fogging up. I couldn't see. I'm driving around the neighborhood. I'm like, well, Drew, well, Drew. I well, see yeah, everybody yeah, except yeah, for Drew. Yeah. yeah. So I go back in the house and while I'm driving around the neighborhood trying to find him, I'm blowing his phone up. His phone is dying. So I'm just like, I hope I get him before his phone dies. Dun, so dun, I, dun, go, <laughs> I go back in the house because I'm like, I can't keep driving around here. Like, I, I just, I'm not gonna find him or whatever. So I go back and my friend trying to get me to calm down and I'm still blowing your phone up during all of this. And he finally answers the phone. Have a sip. Y'all. I'm freaking out. And meanwhile. I'm just in the house uh, with the scammers. Hold on. Let me backtrack a little bit. Let me tell y'all that. Before we tell y'all that. Did you like this video? Did you like the video? If you haven't, make sure that you liked it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you subscribe. Think when we left the house. Well, I left the house after she was downstairs talking for an hour. I just kept walking, walking, walking. I was trying to, you know. It was tipsy, so I ain't gonna lie. I just wanted to walk. It was cool outside. It felt good. So I was walking, and then this dude, the black dude, walked up to me. He was like, "Hey, bro. He's like, you got some, you got some, got some gas." I was like, "Nah." He's like, "You know, I get some." I was like, "Nah, I'm, I'm down here on vacation." Um, so he was like, "Yeah, me too." Like me, all, me, we came down here. We from Atlanta or whatever. Whoop, 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 whoop. So we just started walking and talking. I'm tipsy, so I talk when I'm tipsy. Talk about anybody. We talk anytime. I talk to anybody and everybody. It could be about nothing. I don't even got to know about the subject. I'm going to find something I know about and talk about. Anyway, um, we walking around. He was like, hey, bro. After we, we probably walked about 10 minutes. He was like, bro, you trying to make some money? So me, I'm like, what this nigga got to say? So I'm trying to figure out what he's talking about. And then he's trying to explain it to me. But the way he's explaining it to me is not making no sense at all. I hear him saying, you know, we just got to, you know, send money to here. And they send money back. And you get the money. 
I'm like, okay, that sounds like a scam. I'm saying this in my head, but I'm entertaining this shit because I'm tipsy. So he was like, bro, just come back to the house with me and my boy will tell you what's going on. So I guess the boy is, is the head honcho of the shit. So we get back to the crib, to, to his crib or whatever. It's him, it's the ringleader, some other dude, and I guess one of their girlfriends. And they just down there, you know, playing a video game. I don't know what they're playing, but they playing a game. They're playing GTA. They're playing a game. And then Buddy started explaining it to me. And he was like, send me the I'll send you some money. And then you send the money to somebody. And then had them send the money back to you. And then you send the money back to me. And uh, you keep a percentage of the money. I'm like, what? That don't even sound right. He was like, yeah, bro. I got these numbers. You know what I'm saying? I just get the number, put in whatever amount I want to send to you, and you send it to somebody, and then they send it back to you, and you send me a percentage back. Scam, right? Scam. So anyway, at this time, my girl was blowing me up. She's like, where are you at, Drew? I'm looking. She going out. <laughs> I'm like, babe, chill. So I hang up the phone. He's still, I'm trying to understand what's going on, because, you know, it could be a chance that I can make a little money. They keep calling me, bitch. He had to call me like 10 times. I kept hitting in. So it was like, I don't know what time it was. It was after midnight, wasn't it? It was way after midnight. Yeah, way after midnight. So I'm like, they blowing me up and they keep looking at me like, damn, your girl, like you on a leash like that? <laughs> Maybe they didn't say that, but that's how I felt. I'm like, damn, she just blowing me up. So I answered the phone. I'm like, babe, I'm going to call you back. And then she's like, no, don't call me back. I'm like, talk to me. So I was like, I'm going to go outside and talk to this girl. So I go outside and... At this point in time, I'm realizing, like, these niggas scamming. I'm not trying to hang around with this stuff, so. Alright. <laughs> FaceTimed her, right? And before I hung up the phone, she thought I had to tell her that she black as fuck. That's later on in the story, but she thought I could, like, this girl black as fuck. And she thought I hung up the phone on her. I did not say that at all. Go ahead, what you guys say? It's still to be debated, y'all. I let it go, but it's still to be debated. He was drunk. Oh, but I said she black. Anyway, so I call, I'm on the phone with her um, after the black as fuck thing. <laughs> um, I'm outside, and like I said, I realized that these dudes are scammers. So I'm like, I'm not trying to be around this shit. So my dumb ass, being the tipsy person that I am, made me slightly drunk. It was in a, they're like, they, their apartment was right here. It was like this big open field where like the, the main office is at. Boom, I'm gone. Taking off running. Hauling ass, so I thought all of a sudden, ah, ah, <laughs> like that guy on SpongeBob. <laughs> ah, ah, nah, this shit was worse. I got shot like Ricky, man. Pull my nail, hamstring running, but I don't want them to see where I'm at. I don't know why I'm scared. I'm tipsy, so I'm not scared, but I'm just trying to know one of them. So I'm still limping and running, limping and running, limping and running, and then basically some. <laughs> So I finally see him, y'all. I've been looking for him for like an hour now. I'm probably gone for 30 minutes. Like an hour. So all I see is him limping, limping, limping. I'm like, Andrew, come here. I've been looking for you. Where have you been? Like come somebody here. Mama. <laughs> when I get scared, I get mad. Okay, I go straight angry. I get mad at you. So I'm, I'm trying to get him to come on and come back to the okay. house. And he like, Nah, baby, we gotta go down here. I don't want them to find us. What's he talking You're like, about? come here. I don't cut behind some houses. I'm limping. Come talk to me. No, my shit hurt. Like, I'm going in the house. Fuck what you got to say. I'm going in the house. <laughs> That's what it was like. It was bad. It was so bad. This is all at like 3 o'clock in the morning. And my friend trying to help following around. Like, it was funny the next morning. It was not funny the next morning. <laughs> we got back to the house. I was so pissed at him. He went upstairs and went to sleep. I stayed downstairs and went to sleep. And that's when I woke up at 6 in the morning to realize that my phone wasn't working. Mm. But I did stay true to my promise. She got a new phone. Mm. And that's the time that we almost got scammed. So, kids, just remember... If it's too many niggas and they talk about sending money to somebody else and that person sending money back to you, chuck the deuces. Just don't pull your hamstrings. They scamming. <laughs> if y'all like this story time, make sure you like the video. Comment down below. We got lots of stories. Hella stories. And they're funny. Mm -hmm.
They're really funny. <laughs> so let us know if you like this story time so we can bring y'all some more. Right. Subscribe to this video and tell a friend to Right. We love y'all. Subscribe, please. Peace. Peace.